All right, it's the weekend, and uh, I am sitting in my car about to finally make my way to Saturday basketball. So a group of my friends for the past couple of years, we band together and uh, rent out a gym and play basketball. But uh, in the past, I don't know, probably about year, year and a half, um, I've been so busy that it's very rare that I get to play. I'll play maybe like once every four to six weeks. So this is one of those rare Saturdays that I actually have the time to come and play. I'm super excited. It's one of the things that I uh, really enjoy and get a lot of um, just pure happiness out of. And uh, it made me think about uh, how I was kind of growing up and even in my early early adulthood that I I was a very competitive person wasn't very good but whatever I did um, I'd be like super competitive and maybe even to a fault because when I think of some of the actions that I had or things I said or um, things I did I feel like a lot of shame and regret. Like I remember this one time, I was playing in this basketball rec league. Uh, I was probably, I don't know, eighth or ninth grade. And there's a girl that we're playing against and I went up and blocked her shot. And I went, oh! (laughs) And it's like so rude and mean. And she's like one of two girls in the whole league so it's not like there's a lot of girls it's like you know she had a lot of courage to to play in a league full of boys but also you know I don't think she played the game to be embarrassed like that and like all these parents are in the stands and stuff they must have thought I was such a jerk and then there's times when I like screamed and yelled at friends and stuff and times I got technical fouls And even when I was in in soccer as a young kid, and uh, when we lose, I just, all these pictures after the game, um, my mom had, and I'm like super angry and stuff. Oh, it's not cool, but um, I think that uh, I also look at it now as far as when I'm trying to accomplish things, whether it be for work or career, like I don't have that same kind of competitive fire, which I, I, I miss, you know, like I want to feel like so competitive that I work really hard and push hard that if I, you know, anything short of success is, is, you know, infuriating to me and, and that I work harder to make sure that I succeed the next time or or whatever you know like this never say die kind of not willing to uh, be satisfied with mediocrity kind of thing Um, and so sometimes I think about it and I go you know maybe I don't bring out the a-hole type of tendencies but I bring out that passion and fire of competitiveness and apply it back to my adult life and one of the things that I'm I've been thinking about a lot is this kind of small desire but it keeps growing and keeps popping up to um, get involved on a bigger grander more mainstream stage of doing uh, commentary uh, specifically for professional wrestling which I do locally but I, I really think that that's something that keeps calling to me I really enjoy it um, and it's something that I feel like I could get passionate about or competitive about and stuff so I have these little plans and stuff of what to do I haven't moved forward with them yet but every day that goes by I get a little more like feeling like I'm gonna get competitive about it and and really try so I don't know I think by putting it out here um, it'll hold me a little more accountable but two I mean that's what I was thinking about when I got to the gym so I'm gonna go in and uh, shoot some hoops as the kids like to say with my friends and uh, see what ha- what what else comes up today
So this is proof that I actually played. I might not have played good, but uh, this shows there was some action being done. And these are the guys who actually know how to play. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, hey, can you do me a favor? If you like the video, can you hit that like button for me? And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too, so that we can continue on this journey together. All right, and uh, hey, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, let's continue this conversation in the comments below. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for another daily vlog. Bye.